This video looks at solving equations which involve indices. So in example 5, we need to solve x to the power 4 over 3 equals 1 over 81. Now x to the power 4 over 3 means the cube root of x to the power 4 or the cube root of x to the power 4. So we can rearrange this equation firstly by taking the fourth root. Now the fourth root of 81 is 3 so that means that x to the power 1 third must equal positive or negative a third. And now if we cube um, both sides of the equation that will tell us that x is either positive or negative 1 over 27. So example 6, this is an example of an exponential equation where the unknown is part of the index. And the tip with these questions is to try to make it so that the um, base numbers are all the same. So looking through this equation, we have three different base numbers. We've got 2, 8 and 4. Now in this case, each of those base numbers is a power of 2. So we can rewrite the equation by write, rewriting each base number as a power of 2 in this case. So we can say 2 to the power x multiplied by 2 cubed to the power x minus 1. And then the right hand side of the equation um, we've got 2 squared to the power of negative 2x. So we've now rewritten the equation so that all the base numbers are powers of 2. We can now use the basic rules for indices to simplify each term. So we get 2 to the power x. The second term we can simplify by multiplying the indices together to give us 2 to the power 3x minus 3. And on the right hand side, we do the same thing to get 2 to the power of negative 4x. Now, the left-hand side of the equation can be simplified further. Because we now have 2 to the power x multiplied by 2 to the power 3x minus 3, and both of those have got the same base number, we can add the indices together and simplify the left-hand side to 2 to the power 4x minus 3, and that's equal to 2 to the minus 4x. And the only way that 2 to the power 4x minus 3 can be equal to 2 to the power minus 4x is if 4x minus 3 is the same as minus 4x. So we can now reduce that into a linear equation. 4x take away 3 equals negative 4x. And that can be solved just by rearranging to give us 8x equals 3. And therefore x is equal to 3 over 8. Here are seven more questions where you'll need to um, start by rewriting each equation so that the base numbers are the same throughout and then use the basic rules for indices in order to solve those equations. Now the next video will go through the solutions to these questions. So if you attempt to answer these questions and then when you're ready, play the next video to see um, an explanation of each one.